Hi guys, many CA inter students are asking me this question from past few days. Like for income tax, should we take once again coaching? This is one question which everybody is asking. Like, like uh, the misconception is, sir, uh, in ICI new scheme material, uh, 115 BAC has been added. Some students are saying 115 BAC is newly added. And some students are saying, sir, all the problems are solved with 115 BAC. My dear, don't judge just based on one chapter. One more thing, 115 BAC is there in the old scheme also for your information. But in the old scheme, it is there in the total income chapter. But now it is removed from there and added in the basic concepts chapter. That's it. And you know what? This is not a correct idea which institute has followed. Because imagine from a first time learner point of view, especially this video is very important to all our rest of students and those who are old course students like already gave November exams and failed but are planning to write me. So these students who have converted into new skin must and should watch this video till the end. Okay, so earlier it was it was there as part of total income chapter, which is very very strategically placed. Why? See, tell me what is 115 BAC? It is an optional tax regime. Now it is in, it is called as default tax regime. That's it. It's called as default tax regime. Okay, just a change in the name. Nothing else. Everything is same. Just one or two minor amendments were there for 115 BAC conditions. For example, one amendment is. Earlier in 115 BAC, as per Finance Act 2022, getting it, you cannot claim entire section 16 deductions under salaries chapter. Whereas in Finance Act 2023, only entertainment elements, profession tax, you cannot claim. Standard deduction can be claimed even if the SSC is following 115 BAC. Anyhow, if at all you don't have any idea on this, just keep it aside. So, what I am trying to tell you is 115 BAC amendment is very, very minor. One more thing. I have downloaded the institute material, complete ICA material, where and all 115 BAC problems were there. You know, total income is one chapter which is completely solved without 115 BAC. I will show you. You see, total income complete chapter, it has been solved without considering 115 BAC. Most of the problems, just a minute. So, most of the problems are solved without considering 115 BAC. You see here, getting it done. Under default tax regime, they solved. And even under normal provisions also, they solved. This is there even in the old scheme also. This kind of problem is there even in the old scheme also. Here, they specifically might have mentioned, compute the total income in the most beneficial manner. Since they asked in the most beneficial manner, we compute both. This is there even in the old scheme total income also. And I will show you second question. Second question. Second question itself, you see at the end, total income chapter, I am showing you new scheme ICA material income tax, okay. The SSC exercises the option to shift out of default tax regime, means he is not choosing 115 BAC. Earlier also this problem is seen without 115 BAC effect. Then I will go to the next illustration. Uh, okay, test your knowledge questions were there. Test your knowledge questions, you see, first question. Shift out of 115 BAC means he is not using 115 BAC. Then here also, fourth question, shifted out of default tax regime means 115 BAC impact is not there. Fifth question also, fifth question also, she opted out of default tax regime means she is not using 115 BAC. Total income problems I am showing you which will be directly tested in the final exam like in the ultimate uh, exam that you are going to write getting it in the main month these are the questions only will be tested with slight modifications sixth question itself sixth question also i'll tell you i'll show you getting it done compute total income under default tax regime optional tax regime this is there in the old scheme as it is so like what many students are saying is let me sim simply make it clear sir every problem in the entire income tax one of the bac answers only added no they added normal provision answer and at few problems, 115 BAC answers were also added. That's it. Remember, learning 115 BAC in the very first chapter is very dangerous. Obviously, it is dangerous. Because in the first basic concepts chapter, student will not even understand what are all the heads of incomes that are there. He will not understand the impact, how heads of incomes computations work. Getting it and discussing such an advanced concept 115 BAC optional tax regime where we directly tell them SSC should not claim this deduction, that deduction, this deduction. 
first of all the student doesn't know what are all directions SSE can claim what can be claimed he don't know and you are directly coming in teaching what deduction student can I mean what deductions that are not available so literally 115 BS discussion in the first chapter is a big mistake for those who are repeaters you may see that this is easy yeah 115 BSE are added in first basic concept chapter it's quite easy but you know when we record our classes as a Sreshtra Institute we assume that the student coming to us is a first time learner we assume that no matter how many attempts we teach them the classes right from the zero level getting the point so what we like even in the upcoming up, upcoming updated material of income tax also we will keep 115 BSE in the total income chapter only in the total income chapter, we will be solving 115 BSE problems wherever ICA has solved in all the chapters 115 BSE. Suppose house property, I will show you. In house property also, some illustrations were there, right? Some illustrations. In 115 BSE has an impact only on interest deduction, right? In the house property, you see here, interest deduction. You see one of the illustration, interest, SSE, getting it? See here, uh, shifting out of shifting out of 115 BSE. Like I showed you almost 10 problems where more than 5 problems they did not use 115 BSE itself. Unnecessarily don't get confused by YouTube videos at all. Now the, the first question which I started sir should we take coaching for CA inter income tax again? My answer is strictly no. Not required. Provided you already understood income tax very well. Getting the point, you understood income tax very well. Somehow you were not, you did not clear in the previous exam, not because of tax, but because of some other subject or aggregate issue, whatever. As far as your knowledge is concerned, if you feel that you are very good at income tax, just Finance Act 2023 amendments, if you update yourself, that's enough. I'm, and I'm telling you, Finance Act 2023 amendments hardly takes three to four hours. Hardly. I'm telling you the videos which I'm going to do in the next month, February month. Okay, 115 BSE earlier it is there in the total income, now it is removed and added in basic concepts which will have a similar impact. Even in the earlier also, what is the level of seriousness with which we learned 115 BSE? Even now also in the new scheme, with the same seriousness you have to prepare 115 BSE. To our race to students, what I am going to do is, all these chapters, wherever 115 BSE problem is given, right? That question and problem, once again, I will make a video and give it free of cost to all of us rest of students in our subscription courses or even in the subject wise courses. So that favor I'm going to do. We will add, we will add all these videos in the application and we will unlock it. Getting it. So, so wherever 115 BSE is used and solved, getting it, that videos we will once again fresh will do. And remember, some students are asking again, sir, slab limits changed. What slab limits changed? Everything, even rebate, everything is same. But 115 PSE slab limit earlier was up to 2 and a half lakh, zero. Now it is up to 3 lakhs. That's it. That's the only difference. And rebate limit, a total income limit is increased to 7 lakhs only for 115 BSE SSEs. Like this, there were minor amendments across various chapters. All these amendments put together, I'm going to make a compiler. Okay, a small amendments booklet I'll be making. And from that, I will do an amendments video and upload it on the YouTube itself. So my students of Sreshta, See, I, whenever I do any recording, primary objective is to serve my students, whoever have enrolled. Secondary objective, these videos will be definitely helpful for even others also. Getting it? So, uh, straight, uh, you know, my straight answer is, if at all you are very good at conceptually this tax, income tax part, and you understood provisions, everything well, very decently, you need not take coaching again. Just wait for my amendments book and, you know, uh, amendments video, which I'm going to upload. Getting it. And with respect to 115 BAC confusion, which everybody is making you scared of, ignore that. Absolutely, that is wrong. Getting it. Earlier also, we have solved many 115 BAC problems as part of total income chapter. But now, this 115 BAC problems are being solved explicitly. In fact, should I tell you one fact? Problem with the 115 BAC is quite easy. Why? Deductions are not there. No. Suppose if a, if a company, I mean, an entity has started some 35 AD business. 115 BSE they have chosen, they can't claim 3580 deduction, simple. They can only claim normal depreciation. If 115 BSE is there, answer will be very short, not long. Normal provisions of income tax only very long. And to best of my knowledge, institute will only test normal provisions, normal provisions, not 115 BSE. 115 BSE, one or two, hardly I can say for 10 marks only they will be testing, not more than that. 
so don't be in confusion that 115 bsc every problem so no in institute material also every problem they so i mean if i can say 30 percent of the problems they solved with 115 bsc but not only that their normal provisions were also discussed normal mode of computation of income is also covered along with 115 bsc able to understand so don't get uh, confused uh, don't be confused and compared to old scheme like in the old scheme there is a chapter called exempted incomes and now it is removed getting it that's it so except that there were no changes there were no many changes so just i will once again show you okay mm. so module 2 if you look at So in section 3, almost everywhere, the provisions everywhere it is same. Don't get confused. Most of the provisions are same. No changes at all. Exempted incomes also, the chapter has been removed and many of the exemptions were discussed at respect to chapters itself. Getting it? That's it. Only exempted incomes chapter is removed. If at all you are my rest of student, exempted incomes chapter, I will come up with a video on that anyhow in, in the application or in the Google Drive. Okay, I will give you clarity, I will give you explanation what are all not required. Simple. Okay, that's it. So I think uh, I have answered this basic question. Basic question which many students are confused with respect to income tax. Like some one student messaged me yesterday. Sir, like uh, people are people are telling me that I have to take coaching once again for entire income tax, saying that entire income tax has been modified with 115 BSE. Are man, 115 BSE is dead easy. It's dead easy. Wait for my amendments video where I'm going to explain in depth 115 BSE. In fact, I will explain 115 BSE along with AMT put together. Getting it? Entire amendments I'll explain, and I will also solve some three to four problems in the amendments class. Just wait for it. No need to buy any course if at all you're confident. If at all you're not confident, then you can enroll into any course. Even my income tax class is also available. But my income tax class is completely Finance Act 2022 based, where you just have to update with these amendments. And I'm telling you, you will be exam ready. Okay, if you just follow this my classes plus these amendments videos, which I'm going to make in February month, the amendments videos. Okay, I hope I answered your question. If you if you are having any questions related to income tax, give a comment here below in the below. Don't put any other comments in the sense uh, other queries like sir I have I have got exemption so and so paper I have to carry for no I will make a video very soon okay uh, because I'm, I'm very occupied okay with various other works I'm unable to focus on these videos but I'll try my level best to you know uh, answer all your queries especially with respect to the new scheme conversion exemptions carry forward all that okay take care bye.